Hi there, today I'm going to show it to you how to install XAMPP on Linux operating system. So before that I need to go to Google and type this um, and search for downloading the XAMPP. Let's download latest one. Fine. First of all it shows that XAMPP in uh, Windows but we can we need to download for uh, Linux itself. These many versions are available over internet but you can see over here the good news in windows is that you are having 32 bit and 64 bit of xamp available uh, for linux while in windows it's only 32 bit so it's a great news for us that if we want to install 64 bit also we can install it by clicking on this link say for example uh, we uh, are going to download 7.0.8 that's the last latest version of XAMPP so we can download it from here itself fine and then after getting down so after getting clicked on it it will start downloading the entire thing I have already downloaded approximately 125 MBs of data I can show it to you so we can cut this time in a very short manner fine here it is uh, it's already downloaded what am I going to do is right click on it find the uh, folder where I have downloaded it open in terminal fine uh, then I will type it sudo dot slash sam but you can see it's not working fine uh, tab is not working so for that we need to give permission to sam that's 777 fine and then we type sudo dot slash x and then tab that's it fine so now it's working because we have given the full rights to it fine uh, it will ask you for the password uh, remember that if you go for uh, direct installation without sudo command it will be a dip uh, slightly difficult for you people to uh, install it because it requires administrative rights or root access for downloading uh, installing it fine uh, we click on next uh, we don't have any other options except clicking on next once again you can see over here it's only and only going to install on opt lamp fine let us give rights to opt lamp so it gets installed in a quite a good manner fine ch mode 777 slash opt fine okay so it says permission denied let's go for sudo password is whatever this now you can see over here we have given the permission to this location fine so if you have forgotten to give the permission it might be slightly difficult difficult for you to handle then after so do not forget that step over here fine next bitnami uh, i do not want to open this fine thanks for thanks to bitnami for zam uh, ready to install and here we go you see it's getting unpacked it will start installing it in a very regular manner just like in windows it's very easy fine Okay, let me pause for some time so that uh, we can have a shorter video.
okay so fine so it's al almost done over here uh, I think we need to just create some files from now onwards because it's getting installed it right now uh, for that creating an uninstaller okay so XAMPP has been installed in a very quiet a clean manner fine I didn't post the, up the video fine so you can see the entire things let's see okay so here it is the XAMPP control panel you can manage your server from here you can see okay okay so here you can see that uh, apache server is running um, pro ftpd is not running this is similar uh, to filezilla in uh, xamp version of windows operating system and mysql is also not running fine let's start mysql and pro ftpd fine the only difference over here is that filezilla and mercury as well as tomcat is not part of xamp for linux fine i hope the bitnami team may also come along with these things okay so let's go and see if it's working or not localhost voila yes it's working fine you can see php my admin also from here itself okay so xamp has been successfully installed but what if you want to auto start XAMPP whenever computer restarts XAMPP also should get restarted so that you do not have to worry about starting the services stopping the services or anything like that so let's create some scripts to auto start the entire thing fine it's an not a mandatory option if you wish you can do it if you do not wish it's okay you can uh, still run XAMPP from operating system itself fine um, just a second we start doing okay so let's start with today's work uh, first of all we should test that these commands actually work or not actually sudo opt lamp lamp restart fine if if it works then let's see how we can restart it this is how we actually restart our XAMPP fine let's see okay if you want to stop you can use this command to stop lamp actually it's working right now let's refresh it and see okay so it you can see the lamp has stopped working if you want to start this is the command to start it fine let's see if it's now working fine. and in some cases you need to restart the server so for that this is the command to restart it fine uh, so over here I'm going to type this command fine and then uh, save it to somewhere in the location where I would uh, like to save it but for that I cannot save it directly sorry close without saving CLS or uh, not CLS clear we we need to save this file in this format in etc init.d folder uh, we are creating one file named as lamp fine using gedit I'm going to edit the entire file let's see okay so now it's allowing me to save this thing uh, fine and then also writing some of the script tag that is shebang shebang slash bin slash bash if you do not write this keyword it's okay fine but I would recommend it to write it then save it fine 
after getting saved saving file okay after it after it gets saved we need to give the permission to this file fine do not worry about these are the messages fine uh, because if they are the exceptions that were thrown as a metadata file fine but we are not getting worried about it because if you want to see uh, we have already written the script and this is the script that we actually wrote it fine so now we are going to give the permission to execute it with command prompt fine because it might it may require execute permissions somewhere in the later state when it gets restarted fine uh, after getting permissions we need to update uh, it to update.rc this command is used actually to uh, when the computer restarts fine it actually uh, executes this command uh, whatever available is there these files will be getting loaded during the restart or during the start of the compute linux operating system fine so update.rc and then i am uh, telling it that uh, there is my new file that is lamp edit to defaults fine so it will add it to default executions it's saying it says lsb is missing doesn't uh, makes any sense but ignore this message it's just a simple warning fine after getting this done okay so voila everything is has been completed no problem at all and then whenever you get restarted your computer you do not need to worry about anything that uh, you need to restart your lamp or something like that fine but there is one more thing that i would like to show it to you fine just a moment okay so uh, whatever the reason is right now update.rc has been completed over here fine so i think that your task might be very easy like now onwards that uh, lamp gets restarted every time you restart your computer or you start your computer it always gets started fine but what if you want your uh, lamp manager in over here so that you can start the service restart the service in from the gui itself just like you did in the windows operating system it's very easy fine uh, for that we need to work on certain files and i need to uh, make you sure that how where uh, are the files located over here fine let me show it to you you go to uh, computers you go to opt you can see over here lamp with this thing has been coming forward fine uh, then after you can see over here this is a file that we are looking for uh, right now what's the permission given to that file is 700 by default fine it means it doesn't have uh, rights to execute unless and until you are the uh, root itself fine but how to convert this uh, how to give permissions to this file is simple ch mode 777 to manager ui fine manager linux okay so it says permission denied let's add a sudo to it type the password check the command so you can see it has uh, now given the full rights to anyone who can execute it but still it will require sudo command to execute it dot slash manager fine okay so here you see it has started running it fine so now from windows uh, just like windows if you want to start or stop any of the services restart it even configure some of the ports from here you can configure it or you can open the logs you can set some uh, free ports whatever you like change it um, and then whatever say for example if you want to uh, work with not with 3306 but 3307 then you can uh, use this things over here fine and if you have any doubt just comment below this video I'll, if try to solve it out in a very short time thank you very much thank you all for watching this video